Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and today we are going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Ubuntu version 17.04, I couldn't remember it almost, in VirtualBox. So, this is the latest version of Ubuntu out as of this video uh, today on April 30th of 2017. So, let's go ahead and just get straight into the tutorial. We're going to go ahead and create a new virtual machine here on the top left. And we're just going to call this Ubuntu 17.04. And we'll leave it at 64 bit uh, for me, but there is a 32 bit option if needed. And to click next, uh, there will be a link in the description to download Ubuntu from the official website of Ubuntu. So that will be in the description below if you do not have it already. Um, it recommends to have a uh, RAM of a gig. I'm going to bump that up to two gigs. Oops, if I can. There we go. 2 gigabytes of RAM, click next, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and create our virtual hard disk. Now it only is going to be a 10 gig uh, virtual hard disk, but it's obviously not going to be that much on your drive at this time, um, just because it's dynamically allocated and not a fixed size. So go ahead and create this, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and go to settings up on the top here, and go to storage, and then we're going to go to this empty slot where this disk is, and go ahead and choose, and I'm going to browse uh, to my Ubuntu folder here and there is 17.04 click open and then click OK and then you can go ahead and click start to start up the virtual machine now the ISO is 1.5 1, 1. gigs so it is kind of a big ISO here um, if you are planning on doing this so um, it's going to load up here and uh, it'll give you the Ubuntu 17.04 uh, boot screen and uh, you can actually try Ubuntu uh, you can actually run Ubuntu without actually installing it onto your machine um, so that would be if you want to just try it out um, just for uh, you know anything you want and like you know so it doesn't actually harm your main computer you could uh, burn this ISO onto a CD or DVD or you could uh, burn it onto a flash drive and uh, boot it um, onto your main computer and try it without uh, installing it onto your computer so if you click the try and boot to button after selecting your language um, it will uh, load up Ubuntu here and you can basically fully use fully use the operating system and not have to install it uh, now grant it does not save anything which um, obviously you wouldn't want to do this option if you're planning on using this as your main operating system or installing it but yeah so you already got the full operating system up and running here and um, you can go through and uh, try out all the different applications and everything or you can install them boot too. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do that so this is kind of both methods so we're going to go ahead and double click on install Ubuntu here and it'll eventually come up with the screen and here's the welcome screen here uh, where you will select your language on the left side here and click next and then uh, you can choose these options here to download updates uh, while installing Ubuntu so this can save you some time to get the uh, latest updates for Ubuntu which I will check that and you can also install some third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and other stuff so I will check that as well and go ahead and click continue and I apologize, somebody is making a real loud noise upstairs. So, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to, um, hold on just a sec. All right, sorry about that. Um, so here we're on the installation type here. So it gives you some options here to erase the entire disk and install Ubuntu. Um, you can encrypt it as well and also do a uh, logical volume management and, uh, or you can do something else. So in that case, you can do a dual boot of your, like say you have Windows on your computer. If you'd like to, you could create another partition 
and actually dual boot Windows and Ubuntu. But I'm not going to do that. We're just going to do the erase disk and install Ubuntu method since it's on a virtual machine and click install now. And it's going to confirm to write changes to disks. So just click continue on that. And then uh, the next screen that will pop up here is your location. So I'm just going to click continue. And then it's going to do your keyboard layout. English and English is correct for me. So click continue. And then it's going to come up with your uh, username screen here. So we're just going to do this. And uh, you can do a password if you would like, but I'm not. Uh, actually, it does require you to do a password. So uh, I guess we will go ahead and type one in. So go ahead and click continue to finish that up and it's now going to copy over files and begin the installation of Ubuntu. So uh, this can take some time so just let this sit for a little while and it's going to continue to install and I'll be back with you guys once we restart. Okay so it says installation is finished so uh, now it is telling you that you need to restart so we're going to go ahead and do so by clicking restart now and it should restart your virtual machine it'll come up with that Ubuntu logo and then uh, it'll say please remove the medium installation which it has already done for you so click enter and it's going to reboot the machine and it will now boot into Ubuntu. it's going to come up with a couple messages here of course but they are not error messages thank god so it's going to come up with the Ubuntu boot screen the end you see that the uh, screen resolution has automatically been adjusted and now we are here on the logon screen so we can go ahead and type in our password and it's going to go ahead and log us in to Ubuntu Now, I'm unsure if this uh, has audio or not, but I sh it should, because if the other version did, then this should. So, there we are. We're on the uh, desktop, and uh, that icon that says install is not there anymore, so that means that uh, this is not running off the disk. And you see that the volume is right here, so you can't really tell if it is uh, working or not. Um, you can probably mess around with these settings, but to me, I believe I believe it is going to work. So there you go, guys. That is how to install um, how to install Ubuntu 17.04. I blanked just for a minute. So I don't know if you can hear that. It's probably very faint, but the audio does work. So there you go, guys. That's the video tutorial on how to install Ubuntu version. 17.04 thank you guys for watching uh, leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed this video and uh, comment already has down for uh, below for future videos and do not forget to subscribe once again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video